Hello everyone, welcome to my Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you variable scopes. Now, what is the scope of a variable? In simple terms, I can say that the scope is the lifetime of a variable. Okay. Now let us consider this example, which we saw in the previous tutorial. Now, in this case, I've created an object dog in this main method. Okay. Now, if we create any variable or any object inside any method, then that variable or object will be visible only within that method. Okay. So the scope of that variable or object will be only within the method. So if we try to do anything like this, obj1 dot. Okay. So it won't find it because this obj1 is not visible outside this method. It is visible only inside the method. Okay. So this is one type of scope. Now, if we create uh, any uh, for loop or any other uh, looping statements inside the method, let's say for um, int i equal to zero, i less than five or six, okay, and i plus plus. So I've created a for loop inside this main method. Now inside this for loop, if I declare any variable int z is equal to 10, then the scope of this variable will be only within this for loop. Okay. So if I try to access Z outside, then I won't find it. Okay. So this is another type of scope. Now consider these two variables. Now in this case, these variables are at the class level. Okay. So the scope of these variables is at the class level. So I can access these variables inside any of my methods over here, right? So I can say anything like this, sys out. Okay. Then I can type in breed and it will find that variable because they are declared at the class level. So this is another type of scope. So, uh, these are the main types of scopes, which, uh, you will be using in your projects frequently. So that's it for now. And thank you for watching. See you in my next tutorial.